Hey guys and welcome back to Yakwax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 5 of Let's Play Yesterday. So in the previous episode, we managed to figure out a code word to open... Um, well, we need to two code words, but we only figured out one of them. And we need another one so we can open a safe, but we don't know what it is. So I have a few ideas. I think, you know when you rub a pen over something, it's like you can see the previous, like, note. I think we could maybe do that on here. I don't know how, maybe the pen. I think, did I try this? I have a feeling I might have tried this. Pen and paper. You don't remember anything worth writing down. Okay, so that, that didn't work. Um, I've also been said, also been said, I've also been told maybe I could wipe out the message that's in the mirror. So I'm going to try that. I'm not sure what that will accomplish, but I'm going to try it anyway. You don't know anything about champagne, but this is probably not cheap. Spot of champagne? No, there's nothing to celebrate at the moment. You see, I'm I'm basically at an impasse. I'm not really sure how to progress. Basically, we need another code word. I don't know where to go. That's the long and short of it. So we're going to try a few bits and pieces. And hope that something sticks. Let's see if these would bring any, any more memories up. Someone tried to murder you and make it seem like a suicide. But who? And why? Can we pick them up? Don't find anything there, no. Um, okay, is there anything else that I've missed, maybe? Because I'm very good at missing things. I'll call down to the front desk in a minute. But I'm not so sure. Nothing here, is there? Well, I'm going to go back in here. And see if I can wipe off. Oh, it's not there anymore. Let's turn. Oh, if I fixed that. Let's have a look. The towel blocking the fan blades is preventing the extractor fan from working properly. Can I take it out? You don't see any need to remove the cover from the fan again. No, okay. Let's just try it again. You prefer not to fill the bathroom with steam again since you remember the word perfectly. Oh, okay, so that doesn't really need to be done. I mean, you just said you prefer not to and then you've gone and done it. Alchemy. So perhaps I need to, hmm. I kind of feel like one clue is in this room and one clue is on the balcony. I kind of feel like the balcony is, is key. Let's maybe just have a look, look at a few extra things. Henry's cologne. It's not the first time you smell this cologne. It smells like Henry and without knowing exactly why, you don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the smell of Henry. That's the way out. Anything else I've missed anywhere? That was the towel rail. Um, no, I think there was a lot of item combining in the previous, in like the first bit, wasn't there? Maybe I can do that here. Welcome card. Maybe I can, no, maybe I can use the pen. You don't remember anything worth writing down. Hmm, okay. Rosemary oil, soap, and hand cream. And what was that? That was like the screwdriver thing, wasn't it? Can I unscrew that? No. Um, I mean, there is this hint button here. I'm tempted to hit the hint button. I'm just going to have a look around, just a little bit. In fact, let's call. Let's call somebody. Anybody will do. Front desk. Password. Oh no! You see, we've tried it, haven't we? Wolf. I see that you still can't remember. I'm sorry. Yeah, it just keeps going around. Dore, Mercury, Paradise. Dommage. You're not getting any closer. No, I'm just I'm just shooting at the dark. Um, no, I don't want to call anybody else. Move one of the balls and maybe this does something. Maybe I can use something with that. No, soap. I think I'm reaching. I think I'm reaching, guys. Oh. The simple mechanism functions perfectly without any need for oil. Well, that was unexpected. Maybe this thing. Pen? No. Maybe I need some clothes. Open it again. No. Nothing like that then. Let's... No. I'm close to hitting that hint button. Maybe there's something like near here. No doubt it holds the answers to many questions. I agree there, John. You tried to force it open. Oh, we've done all that. Um, oh, yeah, someone, I also said in the previous episode that maybe this is the sun. 
of that guy that was in in the um in the underground but it turns out that apparently that guy was on about his son was called um danny not johnny so i think i think that one's a uh that's not correct oh well have we not oh we didn't see this before this is the inside the hidden face of dory you put the picture back in its original position is that it? Maybe we can spray some oil on it. Maybe we can put some of this on it. Maybe we can tear it to pieces. Don't even think about slicing into a wet by the great Dory. Maybe I can use this on other pictures. You slit the fabric on the back of the picture, but there's nothing hidden underneath. This is what we've got to do, surely. You slit the fabric, nothing underneath. Nothing underneath. You slip the fabric on the backs of all three pictures, but you don't find a hidden message behind any of them. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought we were getting close, guys. Hmm. Don't even think of it. Right, let's have a look at this. An original sketch by Gustave Doré for one of the engravings he did to illustrate Dante's Divine Comedy. I'm assuming that's just going to open it. Yeah, that's just going to open it. Um... I'm just going to use stuff on the inside. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Maybe you can scratch the back of it. Oh, you slit the fabric on the back of the picture and underneath you find something that you no doubt put there yourself. Yes, this one. Card with cutouts. What? Oh, oh, maybe I'll do that, put that together. Why would someone want to cut out the Eiffel Tower? And what about this rectangle that's missing? What? Ah, 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 ah. No, I'm going to use the card with the Eiffel Tower out here. Oh, this is cool. This is getting good. If I put that on the Eiffel Tower. And then what it's going to do, it's going to silhouette the Eiffel Tower. And maybe that little line at the bottom is going to show me. There we go. We did it. Now that was a pretty cool puzzle feel like a superhero right revolution alchemy revolution there's a band name for you we are the alchemy revolution right let's do that front desk please give me the envelope albert revolution alchemy we're getting back our memory huh i'll bring it right up here you go monsieur yesterday thanks a lot albert their photos huh Pretty photos, naked, dirty, trashy, fifi, lascivious. If you don't have a buyer, I can find you one. Ten percent discount if I can Good watch. Good night, Albert. Oh, I see. That bulge must be some kind of toy. I'll leave you alone. Pervert. I, I just do not like that guy. You open the envelope and find two gifts you left for yourself. What is this? The Evergreen, 1853. Although I'm pretty sure that says 1852. And swim goggles. Do you reckon we have to go in the jacuzzi with that? Let's, let's use these with the jacuzzi. What did that say? The Evergreen, 1853. I mean, I know I have to wear glasses these days, but that says 1852. Whatever. Let's use that with this. You put on the goggles and you look under the bubbles. Outlined in fluorescent paint and an 8x8 eight eight square of tiles. Your work, no doubt. Um, maybe just use that with that? No. How could I... Um, let's, turn it, let's turn it off. Right, okay. What's the purpose of that? What is the purpose of that 8 by 8 square? I can't actually click on it. It just shows it me. Um, let's just use it. You'll take a bath when you find you've hidden what you've hidden. Not before. Okay. Um, what else is this? The Evergreen 1853. Maybe we just have to call our, um, our mom. Can we use that one on the Eiffel Tower? It's almost the exact same view, isn't it? Any of these ring a bell? 
Now, I'm going to go call someone. Ask about 1853, the Evergreen. Henry White, the Evergreen. Did the words, the Evergreen 1852, mean anything to you? Of course. It's the name of a legendary chess match. Anderson moves the knight to e7 and defeats Dufresne in 24 moves. e7. You can't put your finger on why, but it sounds familiar. This is getting deeper into chess territory again. And we had this conversation over on, um, I think it might be on the comments of the first episode, actually. If you like chess, it's exciting, and I really like chess. But if you don't know what chess is all about, and you don't know how to play it and the rules, it's really going to go over your head. e7 is a square number on the, on the, um, on the chess board. So I'm imagining that's probably the uh, the square that I have to push under the jacuzzi. Thanks very much, Henry. Thanks, buddy boy. I'm also going to call the front desk. Did I ever tell you what I wanted the contents of the envelope for? There's no need to, Monsieur Yesterday. But when you're finished with it, I'll buy it of you. 20% extra if it's clean. Oh, shut up. Just shut up. Shave your silly beard. Right. So if I go back under here... Oh, I was going to... Hmm, maybe I can use that with that. You're sure there's something underneath the tile corresponding to E7? The problem is how to get the tile out. Maybe this? You locate the tile corresponding to square E7 on a chessboard. You pry it out with the letter open and find a small package wrapped in plastic. Oh, it's all coming together together. All's coming together today, guys. You unfold the plastic and find a key. That is the key to life. Either that or the safe. One or the other. Probably the safe. Yes. A cart from an antique shop a few blocks. You decide to visit tomorrow and just then... It's not the first time the image of this girl comes to mind, whoever she is. The solution? Tomorrow. If they let you. I'm being watched. Where am I? No question about it, it's the girl whose image has appeared to you several times, but you can't remember anything about her. Oh, she looks um, sassy. Is that the right word? Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, let's say hello. I've got a shirt on this time as well. I'm John Yesterday, a specialist in satanic sects. Oh, ouch. She remembers me. And now, finally, you remember you were here several months ago. This is seven months ago. I'm John Yesterday, a specialist in satanic sects. Thanks for the information, Mr. Yesterday. See that door? Use it to go back where you came from. Motivation. Have you heard of the Inquisitor, a serial killer who's targeting panhandlers in New York? I believe Mr. Petit can help me find him. First, you'll have to find Mr. Petit, and I doubt very much that you'll be able to do that. I need to find out some things about the relationship between Notre Dame Cathedral and alchemy, and Mr. Petit is one of the few people to have researched this topic. Find out for yourself. Mr. Petit isn't available. If you could just tell me where he is. In hell, Mr. Yesterday. My father committed suicide two months ago. Go and look for him there. I'm... I'm so sorry. How clumsy of me. Very clumsy. Sorry. Is there any way I can make it up to you? Can I buy you a cup of coffee? I should say no. <laughs> Things move swiftly in this game. All it takes is a cup of coffee and a chat about your dead dad. <laughs> bad performance. Oh dear. Was I that bad? That's not it. But I don't think I'm going to flatter your male ego by saying otherwise. I don't kiss up to people. Are you afraid? Of what? Of you, John. These months have brought a little peace to my shitty little world. Now you'll be leaving. I'm in no position to lose any more male figures in my life. Hey, it's not the first time we've done this. Don't be an idiot. 
I'm talking about my father's diary. You never told me your father kept a diary. I don't confide in just anyone. It's full of notes about alchemy, Notre Dame, a satanic sect. Right up your alley. I'll give it to you tomorrow, and then there'll be nothing left to keep you here. The diary opened my eyes, Pauline. I have to go to a mental hospital in New York. You're leaving. Come with me. I'll get my things from the hotel. You get the diary. We'll meet back at the airport, okay? I should say no. You didn't show up. Oh, what a goon. Surely, surely something happened. Oh, maybe that's when I accidentally didn't commit suicide. There was a lot of info there, but basically her dad is the king of um, satanic sex, sects. That's a hard word to say. And um, alchemy and Notre Dame, and he knows loads about it. When you went to the hotel, someone made you drink quite a lot of mercury. But you can't tell Pauline that. How is she going to believe something like that? I know what you're here for. You must know where you left it. Take the diary and get out of here. Oh, I've got a key. I must say, this looks awesome. Look how cool this is. And there's a trillion things to look at. I like it. And we've got a key. And it just says, key. Fair enough. I'm going to have a quick look around, I think. At everything. Can we pick stuff up? You pick up the... Is that loop or loop A? I think it's loop. Position, positioning your body to block Pauline's line of vision. So not only are you ruining her life by coming back into it because you were an arsehole, but now you're stealing from her. What is that? Oh, it's a little tiny microscope. Let's call it that. Anything else around this side of the shop? That looks fancy. That's a cool globe. A globe as old as the name of your continent. A reproduction, possibly? You play around with the globe looking for a trigger, some kind of secret mechanism, or anything else worthy of Indiana Jones, but to no avail. What about this thing? Someone, most likely Pauline, left a pair of scissors on the table. We're going to steal those too? Yeah, you pick up the scissors without Pauline seeing you. Cool, so now we've stolen the scissors and a teeny tiny microscope. Oh god, look at this. A sad chest with nine compartments. What's sad about it? You open each of the nine compartments, but they're all empty. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, this is just one whole conglomerate of stuff. The raven figure on the top shelf reminds you of another bird. Where did you see it? How long ago? Where is that raven? Is it that? Can we pick it up? You go through all the shelves and the other ones in the room, but you don't find anything that points you in the direc direction of Petite's diary. All right. Private. Let's see if we can go in here. The door to the back room. Can we go in? You turn the doorknob, but the door is locked. Let's talk to these tourists. Oh, look at that. Look how happy she is. Bless her. They have the words fast food written all over their double chins. I mean, that's very judgmental. Come on, Pendulo. Good morning. At last, a polite young man. Don't you agree, Walter? Are you in Paris on vacation? Exactly, dear. We're celebrating our undivorce. Uh, Walter. <laughs> it's like, um, oh, what are their names? Dwayne? Dwayne and, uh, oh, what's down in the comments? You know what I'm talking about. Broken Sword. Dwayne and someone else. Did you say you just got undivorced? Exactly. We'd been divorced for just six months when Walter had a heart attack. He changed completely, became a totally different person. So I said, do you want to get undivorced? And he said... <laughs> well done. So you two can't remember why you divorced? I don't know. Well, we used to fight a lot. Remember how you always used to contradict me, Walter? I know it's hard to tell these things from the outside, but I can assure you that everything's different now. What it takes is a heart attack. I'm happy to hear that you've reconciled. Life gave us another chance, dear. And I swear on my guardian angel that we're going to make the most of it. Oh, good on you. Is Walter okay? No after effects? Just the opposite, dear. He's much better like this. Isn't that right, Walter? 
Is it your first time in Paris? Our very first. We've been wanting to come here all our lives. But things got in the way. Kids, work, and then, well, <laughs> the divorce. Oh, that's it. Oh, that was nice talking to them. It's not Marge, is it? Dwayne and Marge? Mm, I want to say it is, but it doesn't feel right. Let me know in the comments below. You know who I'm talking about. Anything else around here? What about up here? Oh, that looks cool. When you look at the tapestry, it comes back to you. And it is told that Don Gines de Ordoña, a priest, poured mercury from his right hand, sulfur from his left hand, sprinkled salt on top, and lit a fire underneath that blazed white heart like the depths of hell. Who is that man who was speaking? Do you know him? And Guinez de Ordunia, wasn't he the founder of the sect of the flesh? Get it? If you find Petite's diary and manage to reconcile with Pauline, you'll ask her to take the tapestry down so you can examine it. Well, I guess we have to do that. What about this one? A Confederate soldier from the American Civil War. Just because it's related to the history of your country doesn't mean you can take it with you. And simple, a simple principle that many governments forget to apply. Oh, political right there. You're grateful that none of them are running. They all say the same time, don't they? They all say like four o'clock, three o'clock. You can't take anything from this zone. You still don't know how to get to it. Oh, that's upstairs, isn't it? I bet I have to get up there from there. Um, Let's have a one look at this then. The armor of a 12th century samurai whose katana hits you and triggers a new memory. This guy is you? You can't take anything from this zone. I'm not there. Right, let's talk to Pauline again. It was Pauline, wasn't it? I can't remember where the diary is. It's comforting to know that I'm not the only thing you've forgotten, John. But I won't make the same mistake twice. You've got exactly two hours to look for the diary in the back room, and then you're out of here. You can go fuck yourself and leave me in peace. I don't have to put up with this crap. Oh, dear. That was very nice. Right, we can get in the back room now, I guess. It's locked. Oh, is that what this key is for? Yes, the door opens with a creak. Excellent. Right, what's... What have I got to find in here? Diary. That looks like a diary. That looks pretty alchemic. Alchemic? Alchem... Alchemic? It looks mysterious. A wooden box with satanic symbols carved on it. Pick it up. Take the box and open it. And... Oh, wow. You ask yourself what these strange wooden pieces could be for. I'm asking myself that. That's cool. I like that. Right, there's loads to see in here. What's this? Something about this wooden bar catches your attention. Pick it up. A Y engraved on one end. This is getting interesting. Can you have a look at it? That's the same as my hand. Filing cabinets. Cold and gloomy looking filing cabinets. Exactly where secrets are stored. You open each and every drawer, but you don't find anything but invoices and papers related to the store. Okay. Pauline's work area. Pick anything up? You're not interested in taking anything from the table or from the drawers. Um, oh, ooh, look at that. That looks familiar. Table alchemy symbols. Take it. You take the table down and remember. For the master alchemist, everything is made up of these few elements. The order of the flesh and its unknown carnal work must also be based on them. Ooh, so I'm going to use that with that. The symbols on the table match those on the pieces in the box, but you still don't see how they can be of use to you. I'm, one, I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Right, so... How do I get up there? Oh, the stairs there. Right, there's loads to look at. But I think we're going to run out of time, guys. So I'm going to leave it right there and leave John to have a look around by himself. And then he'll tell me what he finds in tomorrow's episode. I've loved today's episode. I'm really liking this game. And I hope you are too. If you are, please leave a like. If you're not, leave a like anyway. Why not? Doesn't hurt anyone. Anyway, have a, uh, until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. And take care.